Yeah, Global, you might want to wait on the extreme teams. What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today it is time for part two of my team building strategy guide to taking on Super Battle Road. This is of course aimed at Global, but also JP, because obviously we've had the game mode as well, and everyone has to be able to play it. Not to mention it is around every single day now for the part two of the year three celebration over here on JP, so lots of stuff to go through. Villains is definitely a little trickier than your... Uh, heroes teams essentially heroes teams definitely had a little bit more variety to it obviously you needed powerful characters and tankers and all that but you had a few more options not so much with this agl being i would say the one exception everything else you're gonna see just what i'm talking about so let's get straight into this guys okay first off just like i did with the super teams or with the extreme teams here uh i'm gonna be i'm gonna be dividing it into sections okay so the top left corner as you can clearly see is gonna be like kind of your main hitters and your leaders and such the uh top right side is gonna be your kind of supportish units and then the bottom is where i'm gonna start kind of it's gonna be a little weird honestly uh the bottom left is gonna be jp special specific cards aka the hero hero cards um because global you guys will not be getting those to do licensing and everything like that um however if i do miss some kind of extreme type uh card that maybe global has exclusively because i believe you guys got like a i think it was a cell like an angel cell or something like that with the uh, kaioken goku and all that i don't know how good he is but uh he is someone that you might i guess consider throwing in i'm not really sure let me know in the comments below as always uh bottom kind of middle-ish is going to be kind of like your healer type guys and then the bottom right is going to be like mitigating damage or a tanker or things like that, okay? Generally, if I if it's something a little different, I will clarify that when I am talking about them, okay? So first off, let's get into what you want to bring for your heavy hitters. Obviously, Super 17 is the best leader to bring. Even if you have Majin Vegeta, uh, the LR Majin Vegeta, you want to be bringing this guy. Having this guy, he's also a tank. He hits hard after he gets hit a few times. And I mean, it's Super Battle Royale. They attack a ton. So his attack stat goes up to max, no problem. Basically, within the first or second turn unless you know it's they're really spread out then you're kind of like oh well this is just just crap right here so uh obviously the lr Maj vegeta is someone you want to bring because if you can just 18 key off then he attacks everyone and he hurts them all which is really nice not to mention he has a chance to stun rose is amazing for this team as always hits hard provides key he's amazing gotta bring him with you as long as you have him at least um the LR Androids, everyone should have these guys because we had that LR campaign. I'm not going to say they're top and you absolutely must bring them, but we all have them rainbowed, so they can probably take a decent hit would be my guess. Not to mention they link up pretty well with like uh, 17 and other guys on the team and everything like that, so they are something to consider. And then if you are definitely missing maybe one really hard-hitting unit, this Bojack is not terrible. He uh, gets a 90% increase at the beginning of the turn when he attacks, so... Not bad. I mean, like I said, maybe I would definitely say have some major orb investment in this guy if you are limited to bringing only him as your last kind of like attacker or don't bring him and bring more of a defensive route where you definitely are able to survive a little bit longer and go from there. Okay. In terms of support units, this cooler is from the world tournament. Now he doesn't give key, but he gives 30% attack and defense. He is the second best support unit next to the metal uh, Ridlow here. So if it will stay on there, yeah. So definitely somebody you want to keep your eye out for. Um, obviously, if you have this guy here, he is the best support unit to bring. Another good support unit is the 17. Again, that attack and defensive boost. Knock it all you want, guys. I don't care. Defensive boosts do help when you combine things. If you combine something like an Android 8 item, you combine a defensive boost from a support unit, and then you have some major orb investment into the character. The guys aren't going to be taking that much damage. Of course, getting super attacked is another whole story in itself. But nonetheless, they will take a lot less damage compared to just simply putting them on the field, let them get attacked. It's going to be it's going to be a night and day difference. I'm telling you guys right now. Okay, uh, this Omega here, he's fairly easy to get. Actually, he's a very good support unit. Unfortunately, he does not up at defense, but he does up attack. He has one of the best link system or the best links in the game. And now the more I think about it, actually, this Janimba is not a bad support guy either. He changes orbs. So again, really good options right there if you want to be doing that. And then this Salza right here, he also increases attack and defense by 20% to the agility types. So a lot of good support choices that you have for picking there. Um, this Kid Boo, I'm not going to say again is top choice, but he does heal at the beginning of the turn, which is really nice. So 
maybe again that sixth slot that you might potentially not have that's how you know you can definitely feel that golden frieza we all know him to be the master of the tanking the only downside is you really have to be smart and really play your next... You have, to, you have to be two steps ahead or three turns ahead, essentially, of the battle each time. Because whenever this guy is on the field, if you do not have 50% of your health, which you know from Super Battle Road, you lose really fast, this guy is useless. He is absolutely useless unless he has his passive. That 50% HP... Oh... That, that, that was the death of me. That was the death of me quite a few times when I was trying this team out. So keep that in mind when bringing this guy. Amazing tank as always, but the moment you dip below that 50%, you're done. You're done for. There, there, there's no point. So definitely, you definitely got to be careful when using that guy. Now, again, for the JP specific, I'm not, now Global, I'm not sure if you may potentially get this Toa. I, I'm not really sure. I don't think you will. Again, I could be wrong, but you know she she is like the best the best support slash healing unit ever she is attack and defense up 25 percent she provides plus two key to all extreme types and if you go below 30 percent health she heals you up once per battle completely and raises your guys's attack by 50 percent oh yeah let's just say when that activates you have a lot and you have like rose or lr Maja vegeta Oh, they do damage. They do a lot of damage. So that is definitely something to keep in mind right there. And then actually this uh, Janimba baby here, he is not too bad uh, either. If you have him at the, up at the beginning of the turn, he heals you by 10% uh, health. And then you gain an attack and defense by 5,000. Throw that into the ability system. It can be a decent buff defensive wise. He's not there me meant to be attacking, but you know, that's basically what it is. But he does have some decent links, which is really nice. So again, that's something to consider right there. Global, I'm sorry. This guy you probably will never get. Um, this is more on the JP part of it. But like I said, I wanted to include these both to help both Global and JP when it comes to this information. Now, what team did I personally run when I went under this team? I actually ran the 17, the LR Majin Vegeta, because I was lucky enough to pull him. He's the only summonable LR that I have that is from like a type banner or anything like that with bad rates and all that kind of stuff. I guess technically LR Vegeta. Vegeta and Gogeta are the same, but that's a whole different topic. Uh, Rose, I bought, I uh, brought, so that's three people right there. I did not bring the androids. I actually did not bring the androids because this was before they had their LR uh, campaign events to make them rainbow and everything. Next is I brought the uh, 16 or the 17 here because again he provided that nice boost and everything like that. Next after that was actually the Toa and the Janimba. I brought that was my team right there. I brought those guys and I was able to beat it. A uh, lot of luck. A lot of luck was part of it. But, uh, it, yes, because of those cards right there, I was able to beat the event myself. Uh, like I said, though, J or Global, you do not have access to these hero cards here. If I had to say who to switch out for them, for the Janimbu, I would definitely say either like this Ridlow here or this Omega or this Cooler. Um, I know they don't heal, but it's, you know, good defensive opportunities right there. And if you throw some dodge into this guy, he's actually not too bad. So... Um, and in terms of replacing this Toa here, you can't, unfortunately, unless Global gets some kind of exclusive card that is very similar to this where you get plus two key and you heal up and everything like that. So until that happens, there is really no one to replace Toa, unfortunately. She makes the mode 10 times easier. So uh, it's, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, Angel, again, or if you want to replace with Angel Golden, or An I don't know why I keep saying Angel Golden Frieza. If you want to take Golden Frieza with you, that is another option right there. But again, you have to be very, very careful of his passive and that HP restriction. So I really wish when he Doke and Awaken, it had been 30% HP. If it had been 30% HP, I'd be saying take that guy no matter what. But that's not the case anymore, unfortunately. So yeah, we'll have to, you know, you know, again, test these teams out, see what you can do. And you have to go from there essentially, okay? Um, again, if I miss anyone else as well, that maybe you think is worth putting on there, then go ahead. Again, I don't, again, with the great apes though, just like I said in my super uh, type video, I personally don't like having to rely on the ape mechanic because it's way too random. And so I just don't, I simply just didn't put them on there. So if you have amazing luck and they save your butt all the time and you're able to beat the event with it, great, congratulations. But uh, personally for me, that was never the case, so. Next, we're going to move on to tech. Tech is definitely kind of interesting. Um, LR Zomas, the uh, Bojack on here, which actually, I'm going to say right now, unless you have everyone being two, like sets of two, so two enemies, two, 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 Bojack is useless to you. He does not get his passive because you have to be facing two enemies or less. So 
Again, he's not a bad option to have by any means, but if you, unless you go in and you make sure that you have nothing but two sets of enemies and then maybe only one for a set of three, Bojack is not going to help you. So, or sorry, Bojack, uh, Mighty Mask, or Mighty Mask, God, I can't even speak right now. Uh, the Mass Sand is not going to help you, or Bardock as we all know him. So just keep that in mind right there. Brawly obviously is your leader. Now, I this is the one I have not beaten yet. This is the only stage I have not beaten yet personally. And I have an idea of how to beat it. It's going to take a lot of testing. And obviously, I have to go for one card in particular that I'm missing. And that is the LR Zamas. And I'm going to get into my sta or LR Goku Black and Zamas. I'm going to get into the team that I think can beat them. And uh, by the way, to the, uh, I think it was Manga DBZ, if your name was good, sir. Uh, you were talking about how you went through with Chi Chi Meadows and you just kind of one shot at everything. Great if that worked for you. It truly did. But I want to see that video, dude. You have to show me that. Uh, but so this, this is definitely one of the harder ones. This is definitely the hardest one, in my personal opinion, when it comes to taking this event down because Brawly nukes his defense. That is so kill. I don't care how powerful he is. He does not get that kill. Mm, you're, you're done for. He takes 50 to 60k on a normal hit, and you're basically done for after that, okay? Um, I have seen someone on Twitter, though, take this event out, and they brought this cooler with them. He's basically just a hard hitter. So that was some, something to keep in mind. And then, obviously, Merge Zomus here links really well with the... Uh, the LR Zombus, not to mention he lowers the attack of every super type on the field. So definitely keep that in mind right there. Okay. Um, other than that, the support units are going to be the Cell. Cell's your best friend. He's the best one. Next could be this King Piccolo right here. If he wants to show me it for it real quick. He gives plus three key and attack up 25%. Not the defensive boost, unfortunately. But again, he is not bad right there. And 17 here is an orb changer. He's not too bad. So I've definitely considered bringing him. Again, we'll have to try some stuff out. Uh, this Turtleist is pretty nice. He has a high chance to stun. Not to mention he increases his own defense by 60%. So he can take a decent hit. It is only for seven turns, but on Super Battle Road... By seven turns, if you have not finished them off, you're probably are not doing pretty well in the mode itself, and you need to probably restart. So he's definitely someone good to have. Never been able to pull him myself, though, so that's an unfortunate downside. Uh, this cell, he does mitigate damage by 30%, so not terrible. Uh, like I said, if you maybe need that six slot filled, then he's not a bad option. Frieza here is an amazing option, as always. Uh, again, though, you got to be very careful that 50%. Uh, HP restrictions. So he'll tank like a beast. He'll hit pretty hard. The moment he goes below 50%, though, he is a feather, basically. So definitely be careful there. And then this boo here is actually not too bad. I wish I've actually pulled. I've never pulled him, but I wish I did. He mitigates damage by 30%, and I believe he also heals every every single time he super attacks. So that's pretty nice right there. Um, I wish I could again could have pulled him, but that is the unfortunate case for now. So uh, the team that I'm currently thinking about when it comes to taking this is actually. Uh, the SSJ3 Brawly as my leader, have an LR Goku Black in there, have Zomus in there, have the Tech Cell, and then next is going to be the Golden Frieza, and then the sixth person is probably going to be Cell, especially when he gets his EZA. Now, I didn't mention Cell there because uh, I wanted to say this part right here where Cell is good if you can get the orbs with him, which is where maybe maybe bringing the 17 actually is a good option if you can kind of keep them together or make sure the orbs for 17, ch 17 changes the orbs on one turn and then Cell comes around the next turn. So you might try to do something like that as well. But once he gets his EZA, whenever that happens, I don't know when it will be, he will be probably really amazing for this uh, mode. And so I can't wait for that to happen. So those that's the kind of team I want to try. Bringing the friend though, not SSJ3 Brawly, Zomus bringing another Goku Black Zamas combination, I think is the better way to go because they heal you every single time at the beginning of the turn, just a little bit, but it can make a difference sometimes. And so I personally think it would be better to bring two of those, having one for you and then obviously one as a friend, than having two Brawlies who are going to get their damage, uh, or they'll be powerful, but they're going to get their defense nuked. So you got to be careful again, okay, with that. So tech, again, in my opinion, is definitely one of the harder ones. You got to be careful on it. So yeah, that will definitely be an interesting one. Next, we're going to go on to Int. Int, I actually found a really, really good team to take these guys on. My friend even confirmed it because he was trying to find like LR Bojack friends and everything like that. He took my team instead. He, yeah, he took the event down, no problem. So now Global, I do know you don't have LR uh, Bojack just yet, but again, you actually don't need him. You don't need him at all. You really don't. So LR Bojack, if you have him, great. Otherwise, bye-bye. If it would go away. 
Go away, Elder Bojack. Come on. There we go. Okay, I'm saying goodbye to him. Honestly, you don't need him. You really, really don't. Okay. So obviously, you could take, you could do something where you take uh, the Kid Boo here. You could bring the Boo Hond. You could bring the Frieza if you get him. You could bring the Metal Cooler because he's a good support. Uh, Vegeta here is an amazing support as well. The Deborah. Do not overlook this Deborah again. Just like Nappa and everything like that. He's a great support unit. Uh, you can bring the Turtleist for a high chance of stun and everything like that. Janimba for blocking and all this kind of stuff. I tried that out quite a bit. And unless you have Janimba like rainbowed, he doesn't take uh he doesn't take hits well. He takes a lot of damage. Buhan, the downside to Buhan is that while he may lower the attack and heal you, the problem is that you want to be linking him up with Kid Buu. And as you know, Kid Buu does not have any key links. So you, you have to prioritize giving some decent key to Kid Buu, and you're relying a lot on the luck when it comes to the orb placement. And there are tons of times where the orbs did not work out in my favor, and it was between giving Buhan a super attack or giving him a lot of orbs so he could heal me up, or having Kid Buu give me the uh, super attack because he heals you every single time he super attacks. So I would actually suggest if you have Boo, if you have Kid Boo and you have a couple dupes into him, do kind of a uh, 12 critical and then a nine additional. And then the level five dodge is the free one, obviously, because it gives you a little bit more chance to do an additional attack. But the criticals you still want because that dude hits like a beast, as you guys probably know already. So the team and then uh, some other ones you can possibly bring if you really wanted to are like this hit and this uh, Migura. I think that's how you pronounce uh, No, Domigura. Sorry. Uh, they are all about stunning and everything, but the problem is, is that they only stun one person if they hit them or they super them or whatever the case may be. Um, if you're fighting against five people, yeah, not the greatest guys to bring, honestly. Um, again, link wise, they're not the greatest either. Um, it's kind of hard to bring them in my personal opinion. So if you have that last six slot though, that you have to bring them by all means, go ahead. Again, it's not my first choice though, personally. Um, one, so the team that I figured out to bring though, that actually worked out really, really well is actually bringing Angel Golden Frieza. Now, Global, hopefully you're getting this guy after the physical Vegito. That's my hope, at least. Don't overlook this guy. Don't overlook this guy at all. He's an amazing car. I still love his category to death. Still use it all the time when I can find a friend. So this Golden Frieza, though, bring this Golden Frieza as your leader, okay? Because what he does is he gives he gives the 50% to the tech uh, to the int types, but in his category is half of these guys in here actually already. So what I did was I brought the Intelligence Angel Golden Frieza. Then I brought the Kid Boo. He's in the category, so he re receives that defensive and attack boost right there. Then what I did was I brought this Vegeta here. Now this Vegeta is not in the category, but that 40% in the defense and attack is amazing to have on this team. And as long as he's not getting hit and Frieza can take the hits, when you do a double Frieza lead and a friend, oh, those guys take absolutely no damage. They take no damage whatsoever. Maybe around 1,000 or 2,000 at max, depending on what their, your rotation and everything is, okay? Um, Deborah, I actually did not bring, but I did bring the Metal Cooler because, again, he provides that key. And uh, he's also in the Revive cat Warriors category, so that was more HP, more attack, more defense, and all that kind of stuff, okay? So that's 3% in the attack. I brought this Turtleist. Now, he's, again, not in the category, but he's got a high chance of stun, and I had him off rotation every single time. So that worked out pretty well for me. And this King Piccolo. Do not overlook this guy. He's from the World Tournament. He lowers enemy attack by 25%, Okay. Now, the rotations I had to go with, and I will admit some of it did rely on luck on one of the rotations, but it worked out in the end. One rotation will be the Angel Golden Frieza, and the other one will be the Vegeta. You let Frieza tank all the hits because this guy's giving him 40%. The dude is amazing. Not to mention if on an off rotation, you happen to have the King Piccolo here. Oh my gosh, Frieza takes double digits. It's amazing. It's really funny to watch as well because they will super you too. You'll take 30k at max. It's amazing. Okay, you can go ahead and watch my video on it as well. Maybe the super attacks do do a little more damage unless I activated an item, but nonetheless, they do an amazing job right there. Second rotation is going to be the Kid Buu and your friend Angel Golden Frieza. Okay, now this is the downside right here where Kid Buu will only get plus three key if Turtleist is coming on to the third rotation every now and then. Okay, so if there happens to be a rotation where it's maybe the uh, King Piccolo with the Angel Golden Frieza in the middle and the Kid Buu at the front. The Angel Golden Frieza and the uh, King Piccolo actually match up. 
they give you they get plus two key for revival link so kid boo you can focus on giving the key and then you only have to give four key to frieza that's not too bad right there actually yeah there were a few times where i didn't get a super off but again that's where the nine additional came in on the kid boo and that was a decent chance to get an additional super attack which means then i was healing up as well along with doing a lot of damage okay that was a team i personally ran and it worked out really well my friend even tried it out himself and it worked out for him as well so again though it all comes down to the cards you have but that was the best team personally that i could find right there okay um like i said though you can bring different cards to help this zomus right here does heal you uh via his uh super attack not to mention that he's kind of he mitigates damage by 40 percent which is pretty nice i haven't tried him out yet i do want to try him out so uh, i definitely look forward to that video in the sometime future this is a newer zomus global you don't have it just yet but you will get it when you get like tech vegeto and all that stuff okay uh next we're gonna go on to strength i'm gonna be straight up here strength does not have a lot of options strength is the one you want to wait for I'm just going to say it right now, wait on strength unless you have literally all, unless you have like half these guys rainbowed and you have everyone except the EZA, uh, Brawly and the Zamas. You could probably do that if you have them rainbowed. And I'm going to say it right now, LR Brawly is not needed. Again, LR Brawly, not needed here. So LR Brawly, bye bye I'm, I'm dead serious. If you have him, great. He does have prepare for battle and everything, but uh, yeah, no, he's, he's honestly not needed guys. I'm dead serious. So what you need to bring here you have the janemba obviously as a leader hit is about your only support unit the rose is a good support unit too he gets plus three key not to mention he gives or he lowers attack and defense of all super enemies so he is someone right there plus he's a hard hitter so he, that's why i kind of put him in the middle here um the brawly only bring this guy when he gets his easy a because when he gets his easy a he gets an attack and defensive boost when he attacks and the dude actually can tank a brawly can tank Who'd have thought it? It's 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 mind blowing when you first bring him. Omega Shenron. Omega Shenron is an easy bring for this team. He lowers enemy attack by twenty percent just by being there, or sorry, by thirty percent, and it's amazing. LR Frieza, I actually have on the back burner, but he's a great card. If you have him rainbowed, he tanks pretty well, and you know you give him some additional and stuff. Cell is the one I personally brought. I don't have hits. If I had hit, Cell would be replaced, basically, okay? Cell takes a lot of damage, unfortunately, so that's a bit of a downside right there. Uh, Bojack here, again, he increases... Uh, when he super attacks, his attack goes up by 90%. If you're missing someone, again, maybe like the hit or something, and you don't have the Cell, he's a good replacement right there, okay? Uh, this Vegeta is brand new. He does change orbs. He changes agility to strength orbs, and then for every orb that he obtains, for your strength, he gets attack and defense up 12%. Uh, I don't know how well he'd be on this team, unfortunately. He'd probably definitely be in the back burner, in my personal opinion. But he could potentially do some good damage if you give him a lot of orbs. So that's definitely to keep right there. Two mitigation kind of type uh, team or enemies right here are going to be this King Piccolo again. He is going to lower enemy attack by 12%. And then he also has that giant mechanic, which again, I'm not going to rely on personally. And then also this Android 13, if you're definitely trying to fill out that last slot you have you're very limited on your characters he does mitigate damage however again it's pretty low so i would definitely say if you're bringing this guy make sure he's rainbowed <laughs> i'm not gonna lie there so um now the team that i brought that is a foolproof team that you can actually so uh, by the way real quickly when it comes to these teams when you're bringing these teams and you're bringing a friend you usually want a very good friend right you want to bring the best friend possible this strength team that I'm about to show you though, you can bring the free friend that they provide for you, the SA-10 guy with absolutely no orbs into him at all. You can bring that guy and beat this no problem. I guarantee it, okay? Like I said though, strength, you've got to wait a while. You need that Rosé and you need that Easy A for Brawly, okay? Now, the team that I ran was Janimba, Easy A Brawly, Omega Shenron, LR Frieza, Cell, and Rosé. Okay, these were the six that I brought. I think, I, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six right there. Okay, the rotations were as followed Omega and Janimba on run rotation because Omega is lowering that attack, and Janimba can actually tank a decent amount when he has that partner with him. Okay, not to mention if you have LR Frieza on the third slot right there, he heals up a little bit with that link, metamorphosis link right there, not to mention uh, fear and faith and all that kind of stuff, which is really nice. Second rotation, Easy A Brawly and Rose, no matter what. Always keep those two guys together. Rose providing that plus three key for the EZA Brawly because that Brawly does not have good key links. You only need three key. He attacks everybody and it's amazing because again, once he attacks, he gets a nice defensive boost and he can tank quite a few hits because Rose again is lowering the attack right there. Done deal right there. They'll take you down. No problem. You want to see the video? I've got it at the end of the video with all my other Super Battle Red videos. Sorry for sounding a little cocky right now when it comes to this team. This is one team I can guarantee you I know perfectly 
it's this this just destroys it if i had hit i'd replace hit with sell or yeah I'd take out sell put hit in this would make it go 10 times faster maybe not 10 times faster but you get the idea okay super or extreme strength you definitely have to wait on a while but once you have those guys lr brawley seriously get out of here you don't need him <laughs> so easy i i never thought i'd say the day where easy a uh brawley would be better than him but guess what he is he honestly is so he's much better so Anyway, let's move on to physical as the last one. Now, if you're wondering why I have LR Ginyu on here, it's because if you notice in the part two of the year three celebration on JP right now, we seem to be getting some new event that has to do something with the Ginyu Force. We don't know much details about it at the moment of this recording, but a lot of people are speculating that we might just get him finally, which means then global, you'll finally be able to get him too. I don't know any more details than that though. So I'm not going to say that uh, LR Ginyu is someone that you you know have to rely on. I beat him obviously. I beat this stage without the LR Ginyu, but I can definitely say he'd probably make it easier because with that high defense naturally, he'd probably tank really well on the events and you'd be okay. So again, physical lacking a little bit though. Uh, there are other people you could bring. Like uh, for instance, this Brawly here, I didn't include. And this uh, Bergama, I think that was his name. Yeah, Bergama. Uh, he has that giant mechanic again. Not someone particularly that I would be fond of. So uh, a little too random in my opinion. Again, you could try him out if you want to. But I, and I, I personally don't have him. So I can't try him out. Okay. So the team is, of course, false. Cooler is your leader. Absolutely no question there whatsoever. Bring Cooler. Uh, Omega Shenron, lowering the attack, again, by 20% of the enemies right there is really nice, plus he hits really hard, and he's pretty good right there. One thing to note about this guy, though, is that he does not take a hit very well, so you have to be careful and make sure he has a decent orb investment before bringing him in there. Don't make the mistake I made, because he will take 52k, no problem, with very little orb investment, okay? Just saying right there, even with his passive and even with the super boo, still took 52k. It was ridiculous, so... Full power Frieza. Do not let this guy get hit, but he's an amazing hitter. Maybe with his EZA, when it, whenever it comes out, you'll eventually get a uh, defensive boost, which then th that could change right there. You can have Frieza tank everything. Who knows? Uh, support Nappa. Nappa, again, really good support unit from the Baba Shop. Can't deny that right there. Super Boo, obviously the best, uh, phys or the best physical support unit right there for your team. He's amazing. Plus, he heals you when he super attacks. Kid Boo. I personally did not bring, but you cannot deny that 50% attack and defense when your HP is 80% or higher because that allows everyone else to tank really well right there. If you had rotation like Cooler, Omega, and then the Kid Boo, and you were at full health at the beginning of the turn, and then you uh, had everyone attacking Cooler, Cooler will tank that like no tomorrow. So that is definitely something to keep in mind right there if you have that sixth slot, okay? Again, the LR is a good choice uh, if he ever does come to us eventually. The attack up is nothing special. He does provide plus three key, which is really nice. Uh, and of course, that high defense would allow you to, uh, or allow him to tank and all that kind of stuff, okay? King Cole, bring this guy. Bring this guy. Attack down 25% just by being there. He's an amazing card. I overlooked, everyone overlooked him. I tried him out. It works. The team to beat him with that I personally used against, others probably might have a little bit of a different team. The team I used was as following. I had Cooler, Omega, and then Frieza, and then I had Nappa, Super Boo and the King Cold. So three support and three hitters. Now, Global, you do have the Goku Black, and Goku Black does have that key buff where he has plus three key to extreme types and everything like that. However, um, with JP, though, I highly recommend not using him because you need a lot of orbs to make sure that he can hit decently hard, and that's the only time he can really lower the attack right there. So with Global, you actually might throw him on there, and maybe you don't have the Super Boo or something like that, Throw, uh, throw the Goku Black on there as more of a support unit, and if he happens to get a super off, then he lowers some attack, which is great. But again, that's going to be the case right there, okay? Uh, the, team, the, the rotations that I ran personally when it came to this team was going to be the Cooler and the Omega on one rotation, because again, lowering that attack and everything, and then Cooler and Frieza, but there were times where Cooler and where Frieza would actually go off rotation, and I actually kept Super Boo around sometimes. I honestly did. I kept Super Boo, Super Boo around sometimes, or I kept King Cold with me, actually, and the more I think about it, actually, the more uh, when I tried to do it again, I actually tried King, uh, King Cold and Cooler on the same rotation all the time because of that lowering 25% attack. It was worth it. It honestly was. So do not overlook that King Cold right there. That you know, it's just super strike card. Everyone can get him. Everyone can. So, but again, very few cards right here, and it's a bit of a downside. Now, one last question I know I'm gonna get before I end this video is bringing the Shin Shenron to link with the Omega. 
If they have good orb investment, try them out. I personally have not. I have the Shin Shenron and SA-10 and the four pass unlocked. I don't have any orbs in him, so I haven't been able to test them out or anything like that. But again, just be wary. I don't know how well it would be, and that means taking a cooler off rotation. Now, maybe if you are forced to bring the... Uh, the given friend cooler who has no ability buffs and you need to throw them off rotation, that's okay. And maybe you can throw those two on one rotation and then have your cooler and then say uh, the King Cold or something like that. Try out that rotation right there. That could be pretty good right there. I'm not really sure again. I'll have to do some testing out on that stuff myself personally to kind of give you guys some more options. But that is one thing you could try it and do right there. So... Other than that, guys, though, that's going to be it for the video. Again, Extreme's a little more challenging um, by quite a bit, actually. If you need to weigh on these guys, I totally understand, okay? Uh, again, Tech is the one I still have to beat, so we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, unfortunately, with the LR Goku Black Banner coming out on JP soon next week, I might have to do a pretty big summon stream on that probably to try and get him because I do need him to take down the extreme tech stage and all that stuff. So we'll have to see though. Let me hear your thoughts down in the comments below, guys. Was this helpful? Are you going to be able to beat it? Are you going to leave the extremes alone for a while until we get more of them? Let me know, of course, as always. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. And congrats again to Global for getting Super Battle Road and the LR Vegito. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I know the super strength stage seems to be going pretty well for most people. So that's pretty nice. So again, guys, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you all in the next one.